This is uh, Helping Heroes, uh, something that HEB started a few years back uh, from 9-11. And it's just where uh, we have different volunteers that work at our store that uh, we get together and go to the various fire departments. And it's kind of a way to give back to the community, uh, cook breakfast for the firefighter, firefighters, uh, leave uh, food here for them for the day, help them do the oddball chores around here. But just to kind of make sure we get to... Uh, know the community and a uh, chance to give back. We actually have like a roster sheet at the store where people actually sign up uh, and it's kind of like a waiting list. The uh, majority of the crew uh, that will go out re-volunteers each year. Uh, this is my actual second year to do it. Uh, some of the people have been doing it. Uh, when I first went to work there they were telling me, oh yeah, we do this every year. And then every year you'll pick up a couple of new people, but uh, there are some of the ladies that have been here that have been doing this year after year that you, know, you really get a lot out of it. It means a lot to all of us, for, uh, you know, the other people in the community coming out and, uh, and showing how much they appreciate us and our uh, job we do. Um, um, you know, a, a lot of our jobs, people we run on, and whenever we do are doing our job on a daily basis, most of the time we see people at their worst or at a downtime in their lives. Um, so we see a lot of, you know, hardship, sadness through the through our job, um, and sometimes that kind of stuff gets forgot. And then to have a group of people come in and actually say thank you, you know, it, it does mean a lot. Um, it does mean a lot to us. For the full version of the story, pick up a copy of the Waxhatchee Daily Light or read it online at waxhatchetx.com. This has been Andrew Branco reporting.